Hey, what's up, my beautiful Cosmic family members and friends? This presentation is brought to you by special request. In this vlog, I will be presenting my top 11 most common physical symptoms of ascension and or DNA strand activation. Some of the symptoms listed could easily be tied to some other underlining health issue. Therefore, if you have a family history of illnesses that may be in association with the common symptoms and traits listed, please seek medical advice to rule out all other possibilities. In a nutshell, when in doubt, for any reason, check it out. Alright, let's get started. Number 11. Depression. Lack of motivation. Ironically, this ascension symptom may be generated by one who is inherently positive, upbeat, and compassionate, but can easily fall into this state due to being unhappy about the conditions in and around them. They will feel very lonely and a sense of dread and hopelessness. And this is primarily due to constantly being around people, environments, and situations that doesn't reflect a reality that they resonate with. But on the contrary, some may develop manic depression and express hyper-motivation while appearing jolly and energetic, but will show episodes of being frantic, restless, worrisome, and paranoid. Those who express depression in this way usually have positive, aggressive personalities and they tend to work incessantly to keep things in a order they see fit or most desirable. Number 10, hypersensitivity in stomach and abdominal area. Cramps, pain, and or discomfort around the surface and internally. This may be especially common among those of us who are empathic, sensitive, and hyper-emotional. Remember, the mind is most connected to the center of the body, the gut. This is where we process our emotions. If there is an imbalance or blockage, compromised circuitry, this will generate electrical charges that will translate to the brain as pain and discomfort. Number nine, mood swings, changes in body temperature. As more of us come online, so to speak, we will develop hypersensitivity to the mood, thought patterns, and energy of other people, places, and things without warning. We may also find that being around people, places, and things that were once tolerable or acceptable is now uncomfortable and even unbearable. And this will inevitably cause chemical changes within that will be expressed and perceived as erratic. Number eight, biological defragging, inner rumbling, buzzing, vibrating sensations throughout the body usually while asleep or resting. The body really is a biological computer, and like an actual computer, the body will work at its maximum levels when our respective files, DNA dormant and activated, is adjusted in an orderly manner. Number seven, heart palpitations. Although stress, caffeine, alcohol, and anxiety can be the cause of this common symptom, Many people who are not under any of the cited influences are experiencing these symptoms due to the heart's natural acceleration process. In other words, the heart must incrementally acclimate to the higher frequency and will therefore beat at a much faster vibratory rate. And of course, naturally, this will affect your overall body electric. Number six. Sudden eruption on the surface of the skin, and this can be anywhere on the body. Rashes, itchiness, blemishes, discoloration. Due to the largest organ of the body, the skin, evolving to an elevated level of sensitivity and consciousness, disagreeable consumption by way of the air, food, and water, usage of certain items such as soap and cosmetics filled with chemicals and toxins, will create a chain reaction to get your attention and do whatever is necessary to release or relinquish the blood of heavy or dense vibratory elements. Number five, periodic bursts of energy. 
suddenly waking up from deep sleep at unusual times, feeling very charged and energized, needing less sleep than usual. On the contrary, some people will experience the opposite, a decline of energy. If she or he is not adjusting well to the vibratory shift for whatever reason. Number four, lightheadedness, dizziness, and headaches, vertigo, caused by unprecedented levels of electrical charges to sensory organs. The body's resolve to balance or rebalance itself. Number three, periodic high pitch ringing in the ears. The body is slowly acclimating itself to faster vibratory particles and electrons. Number two, irritated and or watery eyes. Hypersensitivity due to the body's functionality to flush out toxins from eyes created from poor air quality, cosmetics, makeup, etc. This one is really key because our eyes are directly connected to our brains, which is the equivalent of our biological processors. And of course, biological processor cannot process well and accurately and work in perfect alignment with our body electric if it is filled with toxins and lack the proper scope of clarity. Finally, number one, hypersensitivity to taste. Sensitive taste buds, able to taste chemicals and additives and tobacco, drinks, food, unlike before. And this inevitably prompts change in consumption habits. And this is the talking point that I wish to speak more upon. My sister and I, we were talking about how certain foods that we were used to eating taste very differently. We noticed this years now. And... I automatically knew that this was due to hypersensitivity and the DNA activation and sensing and picking up on the subtle ingredients that are put in our food and water. Ingredients most of us can't even pronounce. We are literally tasting these things and it's literally leaving a bad taste in our mouth. I've experienced tasting a very metallic, very chemically, kind of flavor taste or very bitter, very strange sour taste. And this is naturally moving us to move away from consuming such things. Now, there is a huge incline in veganism, a huge incline in people wanting to get in shape. Now, for some people, it may be for cosmetic or health reasons. But I'm more prone to feel and sense that this is tied to motivating individuals to do whatever it takes or whatever the motivation to take care of the body, to get the body to its maximum level of effectiveness so that we can balance the shift that is going on. There are a lot of things that weighs us down vibrationally. There are a lot of things that are dense behavior, thought forms, what we consume, what we breathe in, what we are around. And naturally, many of us are feeling an urge to detach and change from these things. So yes, many of us are opting to become vegans. Many of us are opting to cut back on our meat intake or our sugar intake. My weakness is and has always been sweets. I love cakes, cookies, and candy. So we all have something that we contend with. But here's the point that I really, really want to make. As more of us become vegans and become more active in our lifestyles to maximize our evolutionary process with this vibratory shift, some of us are feeling frustrated because we may want to make changes, particularly with our eating habits and may not be able to afford a healthier lifestyle because of course many of us know that it is a little more expensive to eat healthier and of course that's by design but I digress but here is what we can do we can eat what we can afford that is the healthiest and periodically detox from our body the things that we take in Because I don't care how much we exercise, how well we drink, or how well we eat, none of us can completely escape 
toxins or toxicity. That's not going to be a reality on this earth until all of the toxic elements, the source of the toxicity is completely removed. Until that happens, we have to put forth a concerted effort to balance the scales, so to speak. Get out and exercise. We don't need a gym membership to get exercise. I've said it in the past. Just put on some music, some good music, some high vibratory music, and just dance as if no one is watching. That's a great way to get exercise. Or just go outside and walk a mile or two, go to a nearby park and take a walk, or just do jumping jacks, push-ups, whatever we need to do to get our blood flowing, to maximize our oxygen levels. Remember, through this process, intention plays a heavy role. We all have moments of weaknesses, we all may fall short, but your resolve to counter that is what matters. So as the old saying goes, you fall down, when we fall down, you simply get right back up, you stay in the fight for might.